Hey, Ashley Applegate here with Outlaw Welding Worldwide, and I'm joined with Eli Ryder with Heavy Hitters TIG Rigs. Eli, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing, Ashley? Doing good. Hey, a little topic that, that I get asked a question about all the time is transitioning from one thing into welding. So let's talk about those, what I want to call the, the non-traditional student, um, come up with a career, a truck driver. How, how do you think a truck driver is going to jump into welding? What's his goal? So, you know, I think there's a, a bunch of different things you have to look at, but one that's being really important is uh, I've seen people that come from different industries, and as they transition, it's just to stay open-minded and be willing to learn and listen. That's what, And also to seek a good facility or a good trainer to teach you. Right, that's right. And, you know, so a truck driver is someone who's always thought you use your hands and their eyes, and that's important with welding. Uh, mechanic, that, that'd be another one that would, that would fall into that non-traditional student of, of using their hands that can now transition in, into welding uh, for, for their life career. Being that, being that it's an attractive field to, to, to transition into due to the monetary compensation that people can find if they really excel in their career field and hit the top tier, or just go into pipeline, right? You know, those pipeliners make good money, and that's, yeah. what, it, that's what they're doing. If they're doing. We're doing it to support our families, right? So, it, 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 truck drivers, you've seen people transition, but I mean convicts, felons, they get out of prison, you know, that's transitioning, that's a place of transition. Yeah, so, somebody has to have a, a good place to go to work, it's got to be a solid career, they can make money for their family, and, and it's got to be life changing. You know, and, and sometimes I guess it, it might not be always about the money. You know, a year or two ago, we had a, a fellow that was a retired chiropractor who transitioned into the field of welding, and now is a very successful in his second career. So imagine from, from wearing a suit, now that his suit is, is a, a welding hood and a, and a heavy hitter TIG rig in his hand. Thank you for that, Ashley. I appreciate it very much. Uh, yeah, we would like to see them with the heavy hitter TIG rig in their hand as they transition. Uh, however, whatever product they choose, we're going to uh, be supportive in their transitioning phases. Um, you know, hobbyist, I guess I didn't think about hobbyists. That's a good point, that a person could be a chiropractor, a doctor, and maybe it's because welding is an art form. It is. You know, you see a lot of, a lot of folks like, you know, you know Ray Ripple, uh, Stephanie Hoffman. Yeah, Ray Ripple's done really well. I've followed her, and I'm a personal fan of hers, actually. And uh, watching what she does in, in, uh, it, with her artwork and the different things she's created, that's welding. That is still welding, 100%. It doesn't matter if you're doing severe cycle in the box or you're, you're creating something at home. That's definitely going to be, and she, she took her so far as to make a Netflix series. Right. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steph, Stephanie was there, and, and I recently spoke with, with Ivan Eiler from the Netflix series uh, down in Atlanta, and the stuff he does with kinetic energy is amazing. And, you know, spinning us back around, one, one sort of transitional person we, we haven't spoken about is person transitioning out of the military. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, I think those guys are always some of the best welders just because of, you know, the mentality, they've always worked for a goal and a purpose and discipline and fit. Discipline. Yeah. Discipline. If you, okay, let's get back to the monetary issue, right? I hate to be that guy about money. I'm not that guy, though. I'm really not. Uh, hold on. Let me take this watch off <laughs> if I'm going to say that. Look, it's not about money. It is about, it is about being happy at what you do. And uh, as people transition um, and... I forgot what we were talking about. What were you talking? What'd you say? Transition from the military. Go for the military. There you go. Hold on. Let me get back into it. Hold on. All right. Hey, uh, uh, it's not about money. It's not about money. It's it, it, as they transition from the military, where they have the discipline, though, they're going to make money. They're going to work the seven twelves. They're going to be the top tier welders. They're going to go work in the box. They're going to make the mirror welds. They become the, they become some of the top tier guys. I've seen it happen. I have seen it happen personally. Yes. Right. So it's a good topic. Something that, that we get asked about all the time. So if you're thinking about transitioning to a new career, maybe you're done with, with whatever job you were in and whether it was you know, blue collar or, or another white collar profession, you wanna make money, look into welding because there's awesome opportunity all across America. Thank you for tuning in today.